Good afternoon, Matthias. Hello, Sheik. Nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. How is everything? Perfect. What about you? Good afternoon, Bell. Hello, Sheikh. Good afternoon, everybody. I am pleased to present you something today about our brand new P60 model with my colleague Matthias Falkenberg. Hello everybody, my name is Matthias. I'm the engineering and order manager for software and for controls and I will show you later more details about our software, the differences between the old software, the old control of the Probatona and all the upgraded version. But uh, before this, I would suggest let's make a round trip and yes. discuss what we can see here. Thank you, Matthias. I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Sheikh Zar, in charge of sales of some regions in this world, such France, Spain, Middle East, and all the geographical part of the Arabic, Arabic, uh, of Arabic countries, Dubai, Saudi, Arabia, and so on. So thank you for joining us today. I am just going to introduce you the P60, but before we should speak about the topic of today. Why are we going to do all of this? The main reason is years, the last two, three years, maybe a bit more, we are getting more and more requests from our customers. How can we improve the work, the roastings with P60? You know that Probat, in that kind of let me say research is very strong. We have developed a lot of things, especially the control of roasting coffee in, for example, the P60. So we answered a lot of questions in regard of the controls. Therefore, we are pleased today to, pray to, to give you some details, some topics, about the new control. Just follow me and from my humble knowledge of that roster, I will give you some, some overviews. Well, we are now, just for indications, we are staying in our R&D. Close to the machine, Probat 60, built for one of our good customers in the Alp regions who will join us later on on this session. So, thank you again for joining us. So the, pro, the P60 which is staying here is displayed especially for that session so that to show you what is really displayed we have in the front the cooling sieve which is normally connected a bit closer to the roster itself the whole part or the main part of the roster the drum the pipe surrounding I will come later on detailed about one of them one by one, and the more than visible new part which we built especially in regard of the controls. Control panel, which is, of course, due to the ergonomic, due to the possibility to stay and to reach all the emergency buttons and operations buttons and the rest of the roster means after the commissioning for sure you will have on top the feeding system for green coffee the hopper which is receiving the uh, green coffees and depending of the type of the roster itself because we have two types we have a semi-automatic one and the fully automatic Semi-automatic one, this is the one 
where after or by roasting you have a flap allowing you to fill the drum with a batch of 60 kgs green coffee or around 15 20 percent less according to your recipes of course in this case you have the fully automatic one where we have the automatic feeding of the roaster following your recipe in both cases semi-automatic or the fully automatic you have anyhow an automatic emptying of the roaster means the flap which is located here goes automatically out in both cases this is a big and very good and really principal advantage that you can have on that roaster so going back to the rear of the roaster itself you will find the exhaust pipe for hot air which is connected to the first cyclone which is visible here for hot air at the bottom which is not displayed here but it in the rear you collect your shaft or the skin of the beans which must be emptied by time to time which is missing here in the picture of the roasting system is the connection from the cooling sieve to the cooling cyclone no matter the machine as you see here is customized which is not also now visible here is the cabinet also a new topic in the former type of p60 the cabinet was installed separately was as we say in our technical language remotely a pc which was separate to the listening system in the new version that cabinet is introduced on the bottom of the body of the roster what is also not visible here is the burner the surface burner which is modular which is of course with the new technology connected to the pc it allows you to do more recipes to have more flexibilities to have more type of coffee at the end because this is the reason why we created the new system the next topic will be this is as i told before the customized machine of the uh, of the customized roaster for the for, for 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 that customer from the alp in black as you see it here but you can have it also in a different color it will happen of course after exchanging with us and we'll find out and answer your question in, the, in that matter so what is important is we do have very good references worldwide we do have customers who are using that roaster for different applications going through filter coffee espresso and in my case as i told you in the beginning i am selling the machines in the arabic world and you know that there the coffees are completely different as the one we have using in Europe. I'm talking about Turkish coffee or coffee with this blend and so on. But all of this is very singular that I invite you by questions. For sure, you will chat with my colleague, Mr. Matthias. But the much more important thing is please don't hesitate to come to us to provide for trials or meeting on exhibitions or by yourself on site which i am doing regularly so i thank you very much for this short speech and would like to invite my colleague matthias to give you some topics about the new control system i thank you very much for your attention matthias please yes. feel thank free hmm? yes thank you very much Sheikh. so what's new about the software about the controls so we had three big changes three big achievements done so far one point is and that is already what shake mentioned the new big <coughs> hmi it's a touch panel and as you can see here from the appearance of the software 
it looks pretty same as we have it already implemented as uh, on the PX120. So the same appearance, and the same HMI starting from the P60, the new one up to the bigger industrial roaster. With this panel, the operator can configure the receipt, uh, control the batch, but also make some data analyzations. So the machine is collecting a couple of information and with the panel we can also analyze former batches, former receipt and try to find out the best way of roasting. This is only feasible by a total new control inside of this cabinet. So we have a total new generation, a state of the art industrial electronic with an industrial PC inside. First time also a soft SPS running on this IPC and a couple of different IOs and controls and sensors who are collecting in a very fast frequency huge amount of data. And with this data in a big data pool, we can do some analyzations or maybe not, depending on the customer needs, it's prevented and provided anyway. And with this platform, we have also the possibility to make some small changes depending on the customer needs. For example, to have more flexibility in the processes, we can add some frequency converter or not, or just drop them. Also here in the cabinet or considering an AC or not, just depending on you and your customer needs or not. And the third big achievement is that we do not deliver anymore. Yeah, sounds crucial so far, but this is also what you mentioned in the former version, in the former Probatone 60, we had an, uh, 60, we had an additional external cabinet, and in this external cabinet, there was the control in parts. That means the customer needs to provide some additional space, mostly in a smaller roasting area for this cabinet, a survey technician for our side needs to travel to the location to make the cabling, the wiring, the I.O. check, the commissioning. And this uh, was a request from you, a request from a couple of cost customer if we can drop this additional cabinet. And we did it so far. Uh, it was a challenge, but we fulfilled all achievements. So only the cabinet here is to control. This needs to be connected to the power from the customer and then we are fine so far. So put in a nutshell, new control, less space, less time, less material, and yeah, let's see. And you're welcome to challenge our enhanced sales department with this key figures. Um, but not now, now I would suggest we have a deeper dive into the software, into our simulation. We have prepared a testing environment a simulation because the machine we have installed here is not installed in the gas consumption, not a power supply and also the access handling is not considered uh, due to the fact that this is already prepared for shipment and therefore we are using a testing environment which is our quality step before we deploy the software to the customer. Um, this test environment fulfills all requirements and it's the same software we have later on in the P60. And yeah, at this stage, I will also introduce uh, the first customer, one of the first customer who is receiving the upgraded P60 in a couple of days. And therefore, I will welcome now the first customer from Switzerland. So one welcome, welcome from, from Cold Emmerich to maybe much colder Switzerland to Shem. How are you? Hi. Well, thanks. Fine, everything. Perfect. So you're looking forward to receiving the machine soon? Yes. Yes. It's Very good. So I think then it makes also sense to have a fast review of the software about the new functionalities and the capabilities. Uh, you will become as a tool on your side to find the best coffee and the best receipt. So then I would suggest we just start here with um, the, the software. Have a look in our YouTube channel in case of there are some questions 
from some customers or some viewers. So everybody is welcome here and ask me some questions about the software or the machine and I will try to consider this during this short presentation. Yeah, let's start in the operator screen. In this operator view, um, the operator has all needed information starting at the top or left with the station of the feeding hopper. There we get an information which kind of receipt is actually uh, loaded. Also about the current receipt and the batch number in the roaster. And this goes up to the roasted coffee bean. And in the middle, the roasting curve is an indication uh, of the target curve, of the target receipt. There is an indication by the yellow color or by the red color if we need to manipulate the roasting procedure or not. And also very helpful, each phases are highlighted here, so the heat up phases, the roasting phase, and also the discharging phase. Everything is part of the receipt. And below this, we have the primary parameter. And by the way, in this primary parameter, we can change at time, yes. So to have a direct um, interaction with the software to the roasting procedure. But let's have a look also in the machine overview. That looks pretty technical, sure. But um, it gives an essential information about the status of the machine. If the burner is running so far, if uh, we have some coffee here inside in the feeding hopper indicated by this yellow light and um, also an overview about the cooler and um, the other components. The receipt, as I mentioned before, can also be configured here in this software. We can edit an already existing receipt. We can send the receipt. We can even export the receipt and send it to some colleagues for additional analyzation. And um, finally, also pretty helpful is an overview, like we, we, we call it the message service, the alarm message service, where all the in, interaction is logged so far. So when there was a um, special moment of roasting, which leads to emergency handling, Everything is locked here. Also, the interaction from a customer, from the operator. We can add some comments here. Yeah, for example, type something in as an information for the night shift, what was happening during this uh, cooling cycle and full information. But we also can do add some pictures. Yeah, so absolutely history for the roasting procedure. Um, very helpful also is um, a deeper analyzation about the roasting procedure itself. Here are a couple of information marked with the curve. We have sensor, but also I think very helpful is the rate of rise. A couple of customers working with this together to see what are the next reducing points and what, what leads to the next uh, interaction with the roasting procedure. All information are uh, locked frequently in our big data bank so that we can make a deep dive into all this historic data for analyzation. I can add here a marker and could compare some, some curves, maybe not in this long time frame, maybe also in a shorter time frame to find out what was changing, what were some uh, differences from batch to batch, just to have an absolutely understanding about what kind of coffee and how did I roast it in the past to find out what could be the next better batch and the next batch control. Yes, and in the batch protocol on top of this, all these information are stored and collected in parallel. Um, I can highlight the general information I can review also the reduction points, but uh, I also can compare the roasting curve. That helps me also find out where was in detail the difference between the batch number three and the batch number six to make some consumptions and some 
analyzation center. So the dashboard thing is also um, pretty helpful. Over very some additional coffee, I can uh, in parallel review what is exactly ongoing in the roasting and um, have an additional view on all the processes. Yes, by clicking on the ProBot icon, I can open the operating manual. I can see the electrical drawing, uh, the PNI diagram, also the schematic drawing. Sure, I can change the language, drive also a PLC diagnostic, sometimes helpful for our uh, remote service, and also select the user management. For example, when I'm directly working with the machine by the touch panel, I can add some emergency handlings, but, but um, I'm also able by accessing the software with a laptop, with a PC, which is locally in the network. So also an access to the machine from control rooms possible. Yeah. Exactly. So um, additional information I can mark here at this overview. Actually, now we are almost fine, but I can also make a marker here for the first crack or for the second crack. And this is also storage in our historical data to uh, get information about what has happened during this special roasting procedure. And maybe I can also get some learnings out of it. Okay, yes, that was a fast walkthrough through the software. Um, maybe some questions from your Shem. Is there anything you would uh, analyze deeper or uh, anything where you would say, let's, let's have a look into this or that would help me more during roasting? I mean, you've answered some of the questions that I would have brought up. Um, the one would be uh, additional reducing points uh, during the roast. So how, how can we change or adapt the roast, roast profiles we've set during the roast in yep. comparison? What I did not show is the online receipt. That means during the roasting procedure, I can still adapt the roasting uh, receipt itself by adding a new um, reducing point or also drop it. For example, when we usually want to have only fear reducing points, uh, maybe also change it on demand. Um, I can edit it, especially for the ongoing uh, roasting procedure. Now we can see the coffee is filled in and then we can try to change this online uh, receipt here. But I also can add some reducing points and, and this fits to your questions. How can we do it? So pretty easy. Um, I guess it's up to 19 reducing points. The most of them um, using, for sure, not 19, but anyway, um, feel free to add to drop a reducing point. Um, so absolutely full capability to work with the, roast deal, uh, with the roasting procedure and um, edit the online receipt and have an impact then for sure on the batch itself. Yeah, that's so far to the online receipt, the reducing points. Is there anything else so far from your side? questions or say okay so yeah I'd, one other since since you're using a programming or a software that you've uh, developed on a 22 or on smaller uh, smaller scale machines um is there any way is there any uh, assistance or a tool that assists uh, putting uh, profiles from smaller machines Onto larger machines that helped translate the data, uh, maybe not ex to an exact form, but at least it uh, gets it into the ballpark so that you uh, you have uh, you just, uh, not, maybe not as much guesswork or using data that you mm -hmm. guys have logged uh, to uh, to make this more simpler. 
Okay, so you mean also to, to, to scale the, um, the roasting procedure or the receipt from a smaller machine to a bigger machine? Just I mean, yeah, generally, generally speaking, you're, you, if you're testing something or something, uh, you know, production volume goes up and you, want to, and you, have, the, you have the ability to, the infrastructure to use large. How do I go about? Is there because we now this is all digital? How do we move something from A to B, even though B is no longer the same machine, especially when we're moving from 60 upwards? Yeah, yeah, um, very good point. And um, yeah, that's um, a topic we actually have on our development roadmap, not ready so far. Um, due to the fact that each machine machine is a little bit uh, different from the burner, from the type of the burner, from the flaps, which kind of flaps do we have, what kind of exhaust handling we have. And um, yeah, actually we are working on this, for example, that we can use the P60 for elevating a uh, final receipt yeah, and use this for scaling it on the bigger machine, on a Neptune or a Jupiter. Um, but uh, this is uh, still in progress, and uh, yeah, as soon as it's possible, or we have a first prototype, uh, pretty sure we come back to you on this. Excellent. Look forward to it. Perfect. Yes, let's have a look into our YouTube channel. Um, actually, still cried, so hopefully um, we receive some questions. Otherwise, it means we discussed everything. Everything is clear. And all viewers, customers, uh, absolutely happy and satisfied <laughs> with what we have discussed so far. But um, we will give them some additional time. Um, yes, then at this point, I would say we both had a good review on the software you will receive in a couple of days for commissioning pretty sure some persons will be available and during and that's typical during handling uh, the machine if there are any questions regarding the software the handling feel free to contact us we usually uh, every time 24 7 available for this looking forward so many thanks to you Cem. greetings to switzerland Actually, actually is it snowing or not so far no no we have it's nice weather it's warm okay okay <laughs> Uh, we hopefully can push this topic also forward in all occasions. Yes, many thanks. You're welcome. Looking forward to hearing from you and stay safe. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye, Matthias. Bye bye. Thank you. It was really very impressive. Thank, Thank you. you also, bye. Matthias. Sure. And we are really happy and glad to have an operator with us. Yeah, always working with that machine. And this will give us the real feedback. And hopefully you understood why the customer is, is investing in the new type of, of roasters. So from my side, I will just add small and few words. As I said in the beginning, we are staying in our R&D. Unfortunately, we cannot show you the industrial machines which are in the rear, but you are well invited to join us here in Emirish Am Rhein for all needs, roasting, grinding, testing, with the goal to find out which kind of coffees are you going to sell to your customers. And this really, we are covering the globe. We are receiving people from Asia, from Africa, of course, from Europe, and from the States. We are flexible. And we pretend that from the technology, we have solutions for each cases. Please take your time, come to Probat with your coffee, roast with us, grind with us, and find your appropriate product. That's from my side. And Mr. Machias, if you want to ask us, uh, add something, yes. you are more than welcome. The only thing I have to add, many thanks for your time, for listening, 
If you have any questions regarding the software, the controls or the machine or to Sheikh or me, whatever, feel free to write us to edit in the YouTube stream. We come back to you and yeah. many thanks to you. There Take are, care, stay safe and bye-bye. There are many things we cannot maybe present in 30 minutes, but again, the R&D is a platform to discuss about all of those topics. Thank you very much again and bye-bye.